So what we're going to be looking at today, guys, is the BMW exhaust rattle issue, and in my case, it's on the BMW M140i. Uh, so what I mean with the exhaust rattle, uh, from the back end of the car, from the back box, where the valves are on the inside, um, you can get faults which end up causing them to rattle quite a lot. Uh, it's particularly bad on startup. So what I'm going to do with this video is I'm going to show you the actual rattle, let you listen to it, um, just in case you guys are concerned with a rattle and wondering what it is. Tell what the pro potential problems are, and hopefully this video fix it, because... I already kind of know what's wrong with it, so but I'm going to show you guys through it anyway. So what I'll do first is get a car fired up and let you listen to what the actual what it sounds like. So now cold starts quieting down a little bit. It's still got a Like I say, it's not as loud obviously with the cars I have on this trip, but co starters are horrendous. Apparently, it's a more common problem when your cars do have the double resonant links as well, don't they? It's because of the mixture of vibrations which are going through the exhaust with the pressure of it. Uh, so, what we'll do now is go underneath the car, I'll show you what we're actually looking at, and we'll attempt to get it fixed. Okay, so we're going to go underneath the car now. I'll show you what I'm looking at. It's going to be difficult for me to film under here because there's not a lot of space. I don't have a jack unfortunately, um, or a ramp, so I'm on to do this on the drive, which is still possible, but it is a job that can be done in about five minutes. So, we'll go underneath, I'll do my best to show you guys what we're talking about. So, underneath the car, you can see here, oh, a minute, lost it. This is an actuator. This wire here is a clip, which is the uh, sensor electrics, which will change, make this, change the valves when the car is in going to sports mode, eco mode, comfort, that kind of thing. Now, usually from this, then there is either, it's called a flex, it, well, a fitting bow or an actuator clip, two different names for it. Now that, let's see if we can get round, should be here. I don't know if that's focused. Now, when I get my hand around here, that should be here. You can hear that's banging. So that clip is actually on mine, snapped clean off. So when I'm pushing that manually, that's focusing. Yep, that is actually the valve opening and closing. So that will need replacing. So there's two ways I can do this. Let's get this back to angle. On the actuator, there's three. 10 mil nuts, you can see there's one there, one on the other side, and one on the back corner there. These will pop off, this can unclip, and then you can get easier access to the actual part what you need to replace. But what I'm gonna do is try and pop this out and see, actually, as I try and pop it out, I've literally just popped it out. <laughs> I found my need a screwdriver, that. So, this is what this looks like, and this is what it should look like. That's all that's part of my clip, and that's what it should look like. So that's clearly snapped clean off. I don't know how that's actually done that. What I'm going to try and do now is attempt to put this in by hand. Um, this you will need, obviously, a 10mm socket to do it if you need to take the actuator off. A screwdriver if you needed to pop that off, but it's popped off, so I might need to use it to pop that on. This part does look quite old, it is second hand. I have ordered a new part. The part number I will put in the description below, uh, but that's not gonna come for about another 10 days. So I've got a second hand one for now to get it a try. So the other one I will keep as a spare just in case this doesn't hold up. No, it's straight up gonna have to come off. Yeah, so I'm not gonna be able to get this clipped in with the actuator still on, so I'm gonna have to unbolt this. So we'll give that a go now. Good job, I kind of know what I'm doing. <laughs> I say kindly in the loosest of terms, by the way. So 
So guys, we've actually jumped forward around four days. Well, I'll actually do the work on the car on the Monday night. Now it's Friday evening. Uh, when I undid them screws and actually had a look at it, um, I, I got the clip to, well, I attempted to get the clip back in place, but what's looked to have happened, the actuator clip had snapped because the actuator itself had slipped out of line. So when that slipped out of line, it snapped the clip, making it rattle. The other problem is to try and refit the actual actuator clip. It was, it's impossible. It just doesn't line up. The, the, actu the actual mechanism on the valve and the one on the actuator need to line up and the one was like 30 degrees out. So there's a lot online about these and you can try and line them up by turning with a screwdriver but you just break the mechanism inside. So I've had to order a new part which I've ordered from BMW and it's took a couple of days to come. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. So this is the old part. Now as you can see this actually, well that sat at a weird angle. So I've got a new part, which you can see that sat completely different. So this will be able to line up now with the part which like this attached to the valve. So the clip should be able to go in. So this cost me 97 pound from sitting at BMW, uh, four days to come. I'll look at the second hand parts and they're actually more expensive. So. What we're going to do now is refit this and put the clip in and hopefully everything sh is how it should be. So as you can see, we've got the actuator back on. So there's one nut this side, one nut on the back side, and one nut there. What you have to do at this point then is plug in the wiring into this clip. So be careful not to damage this. It's gone in. I feel like it has, but I didn't hear it click. I think that's fine. As you can see, is that the, the pin is right there and now fitted so what we're going to do now is start it up and make sure it's actually working and make sure there's no rattle anymore so then guys all sorted so to be honest with you changing that i'm, I'm no mechanic at all i don't really do a lot of mess about my car itself but that was a very, very simple job. And if I would have had the right part, I could have fixed it on the day, with five minutes off and on. And that's not even having to use a jack or ramps whatsoever. What I'll do is I'll put the part numbers for the actuator and the actuator clip in the description below. If you guys have any questions at all about the fitment of this, do let me know in the comments below. If you had these kind of experience yourself, let me know how you dealt with it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's been useful. If it has, please give it a like. It really does help me out. Also, consider subscribing to the channel for more content. Um, it costs you absolutely nothing and it does mean a lot. So, once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.